guys, welcome back to my video. My name's Jo. For those of you who've been here before, you'll know that is an absolute poet. Look at that. And for those of you who haven't been here before, welcome to my channel. I've lost a nail. So I've just been in England for three weeks, um, holidaying from Dubai. I went over to Las Vegas and I had my nails done by my trusty girls in England and I had them done on the Friday, flew on the Friday night back to Dubai, put my whole doll, um, no, mini suitcase up into the cabin bit and this happened. Absolutely devastated, not even had them on for 12 hours. But oh well, um, I'm back in Dubai and I'm here with a Primark haul, probably why my nails snapped because all of my suitcases were so heavy to buy a short bit. I went to Primark twice um, when I was over in the UK, once before I went to Vegas, oh my bones falling off. Once before I went to Vegas and once when I came back from Vegas to buy stuff that was more suitable for Dubai. Um, I bought quite a lot of stuff. I returned some bits as well, which I didn't film, idiot. But yeah, so let's get into this Primark haul. Woo! The first thing I picked up were a couple of beach towels. They're just this one. It's got like a print on it and a pink one. Um, they're quite big actually. They were only £4. They are super thin. But I prefer the thinner ones to the thick ones because they're cheaper, obviously. They weigh less in your suitcase. Um, I know if you're going like on holiday and it's an all-inclusive or you've got Vegas or Dubai or whatever, you usually normally get a towel included. But if you don't, these are an absolute bargain. And we have a pool at our apartment, so they're good for that. And they're thin, which means that you don't get too sweaty when you're lying on them. I find when you get a really thick, nice quality towel, which is obviously nice quality. Um, they make you sweat more. Maybe? I don't know. My theory. They were £4 each baggy. Okay, the next thing I got, and this was £8, was a new water bottle. Um, and this is a NASA one. I'm obsessed with NASA space and whatever else. Um, my birthday is 20th of July. And this year, it was um, a 50 year celebration since the moon landed. So, I didn't really do much for my birthday, I was just more interested in watching all that stuff. So these are great. I took one over to England with me, which I had, which was like a marble pattern one. Don't know where I've left it. Um, the seal I broke around the top anyway, so I did need a new one. But I loved that one. Um, but this one just... God, they keep hot drinks hot for a while, I can't remember. Cold drinks really cold, which is great, because obviously I have it in the car and stuff, and it's absolutely boiling over here. So, yeah. £8. Quite ever, but do the job. Okay, I've got two of these. These are jumpsuits, um, little play suits, and they're just like tch, 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 button up at the front. They, this one's like a leopard print. They were six pounds. Now, I tried this on in a 10, because they had no eights, and I've got quite a long body. I'm like, near, I'm five foot nine-ish, and they were quite short in the body. So I went up a size. It's a bit bigger on my body, but I can, you know, belt it up and stuff. So I've got this one, which is like an orangey teal. Te Why am I saying teal? It's definitely not teal. Um, six pounds. Just nice for Dubai. They've got shoulders in, which is good for, you know, but in the super thin material. So I've got that one. And I also got the same. This was the one I initially wanted and the only I had it in a 12. So I was glad I tried them on because I wouldn't have got it if not. And this one in like palm. It's like a khaki with a palm print. Again, £12, £6 I'm lying and I got it in a 12 just so I've got that bit of extra room. It is pretty big on my body but with a nice little bell, super and nice and loose for this 40, whatever it is, 5 degree weather. Okay, the next thing I bought was this top. Now, this is so cute. It's like bad or you can wear it on or off sleek. It's elastic around the top. It's a little cropped, it's long sleeve and the back is totally, totally see-through. Now, I got this in a small. I didn't realise that Primark sizes had changed so much. I knew they had at Christmas, but I didn't realise they were this much. So a small was a 10 to 12. I was like, oh, I'll be a small. And the extra small was 6 to 8. Um, and I am, you know, I haven't got much going on up top, but I'm normally like 8 to 10. And I got the 10 to 12, and I wish that I'd have got the 6 to 8. Um, I feel like the 6 to 8 is more of an 8. I got some sportswear as well, and that's more like of an 8. So, just for warning. Um, I wore this with for a night with the girls and I wore it with um, 
denim mom jeans with a gold belt, which I'll show you in a moment. Loads of gold jewellery and accessories and some clips because I've got loads from Primark, which is exciting. Um, and some Perspex heels. And I also wore it in Vegas, um, just in the day, with some little denim Levi's and some chunky trainers. Oh, I can show you those as well before we, fi before I start before we finish. Like, I'm losing my mind. Um, with chunky trainers as well and looked super cute. So this one I think was either 10 or 12 pounds. Absolutely love it. So cute. But go down size. I also picked up a headband. Now this is a little, ch -ch -ch. I'm not much of a headband girl. Does it look cute? Do I look like an idiot? I don't know. But I just fancied it. Everyone had them on. They had some other ones as well and I bought some which I took back, like they had some white velvet ones with loads of pearls on and I just didn't see where I'd wear it so I took a couple of them back. But that I think £1.50 or £2, bargain, like silky leopard, winning at buying. I also bought myself a plastic coffee mug just because I'm working on saving the environment. I don't drink coffee, this will be for my tea at work. £2.50, um, double wall thermal mug, animal print, bit of a theme going on here, loving a bit of print, there you go, it's just me in it. Also, fashion tape, um, which I bought for Vegas, didn't even use, wore one thing that was plunge neck and didn't need to tape it down, but you know, £2.50, you can't complain, decent. Okay, let's do some jewellery. So I picked up these, which are upside down, so that's not up to anybody. Little handbaggy earrings, they're gold. They were two pound. I really wanted a pair, but I wanted them bigger and they didn't have them. And when I first went in Primark, they didn't have any at all. The day I got back from Dubai, I was gutted. And then I went back and they had these little ones, so I thought they'd be cute. So we've got those. I also picked up these shell earrings. There's the other one, because I've had them in. The cute little golds again. Two pounds. Lovely. I just love a little gold earring. I'm turning really into gold. I picked up these, um, well, for my birthday, which are these little huggies, and I love them. And they're from a company called Aurelia. Um, I think they were like 20 pounds, and they're just diamond on the front and little huggies on the back, and I think they're cute. So I like those, so. Just so you know, in case you're interested. They also, I go through these all the time in Primark. I pick them up whenever I go. Different ones. You get a pack of six like little huggies for two pounds. Um, I wore them pretty much all the way through Vegas, like two in, because they're like, to have it pretty stacked on my ear. Um, they lose their colour really quick, like, even if you don't wear them in the shower or whatever else, you know, because sweat, sun cream, face, life, air conditioning, whatever. So, I've got two left. I think I've got a couple rogue ones in there that might, you know, have survived. Um, I also picked up these ones which I absolutely love, 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 love. And these are just some little pearl danglers. Um, super cute. Look at them. Cute as anything. Um, when I picked them up, I was shopping with my sister and my friend. And I went, oh no, one of them, the pearls have fell out. And she was like, no they're not, they're just back to front, you idiot. So yeah, two pounds as well. Um, hair grips, my favourite. These, I wanted the ones that everybody's got, pearl slides. Couldn't find them anywhere. Or barrettes, as they call them in America, another place in the world. We call them the hair clips in England. Um, these were a pack of two, which are cute. And they're like a black diamante and a gold diamante, like there's the backs. I think they were like two pound fifty, one pound, something. Not one pound, like one pound fifty, two pound, something like that. They're absolutely huge. Like if I put it on my head, you can see how big it is. Um, love those, cute. So I've got those, and then I also picked up these ones. I'm sure these were in a pack of four. No, they were a pack of three. This was separate. I thought it was so cute. A little J for me for Joey um, hair clip. I had that in when I wore the jeans and the white top. And then I got a pack of three, and in the pack of three, there was this little one. There was this one, which is like a bar. And then there was this one, which says, love, if you can see it. I don't know if you can. Love. 
um, pack of three. I think the individual one was like one pound fifty or two pound the J, and these are like two pound fifty or pound. Should have bought the receipt with me, but you know, I'm not returning anything back to Primark. This one was a favourite for me. Um, I was looking in the belt section for like gold belts, and this one I picked up. There was only two, and I tried it around my waist, and it fit. And it's just these gold lions, like little lions. There's like five of them, and then it's a gold belt, and it goes around. Um, to reality, it should go to there, but I grip it like here, and then leave it dangling. Um, it was four pound. I don't. There was only two left, and then when I went back, they didn't have any. So end of line or whatever. So cute. Love it. Um, and wore it a lot to work with the jean outfit, wore it with a couple of bikinis as well, like with bathing suits. One pieces, definitely not American. And on that line, I picked up a couple of bits of swim, nothing exciting. I picked this up because I like the colour of it and it was £3 in the sale from 8 But it is a size 10 and it is a little bit big on my body. Um, but I just wanted a simple swimsuit because I had these white lace beach pants. Didn't wear them, too short in the leg. Um, and it's just a v-neck bronze coloured you can tighten the straps on the back which i like because i've got no boobs and if you've got boobs you'll like that as well like a cross back and it's got a little ruchy bum um just super simple and plain nice and that was three pound in, did i say three pound four pound three pound in the sale so i can't complain i make it tighter i'll wear it around the pill now this this love absolutely love so i bought quite a few bits from misguided um beach pants and stuff which i'll show you at the end and i love them and i'm obsessed with lace i love lace with black like a plain plain black swimsuit with lace pants or black bikini or whatever this i literally wore all week loved it and i quite, honestly couldn't believe when i saw it in primark i was like wow go primark so this is absolutely stunning. It's a small, which I would recommend. It's like a lace kimono. And the sleeves are, they've got an elastic round them, which was a little bit annoying, but cute. So it was like a little bit cropped. I don't know if it was supposed to, however, I've got giant arms. And it's got this like drawstring. And the detail is just absolutely stunning. Um, love that. I think it was either 12 or 15 pounds. Definitely recommend. Like it just looks nice over clothes as well. Beautiful. Um, sunglasses. I was going Primark. Pick up a pair of sunglasses. Cute. Two pound fifty, three pound, four pound. I ain't got a clue. Um, the only problem with me is I'm totally blind. I can't see a thing, and I wear glasses most of the time. Um, and I've got prescription sunglasses, so I wore them loads in Vegas just because then I could see what was going on. Like. Calvin Harris for the first time in a long time. They didn't look like a squiggle, it looked like Calvin Harris. So I definitely knew that when he was waving and you know and looking over, he was looking at me because I had my prescription glasses on. I saw you, Calvin. Woo. Oh, side note, I bought a swimsuit um off eBay, which was beautiful. It's so nice, it fits so well. It's neon yellow, it wrapped around, blah blah blah. So nice, looks so great. Got in the pool, got home, kept thinking, the bottom of this is fading. Um, fully white from the bottom, I'll put a picture in here. Fully white. And I think that it wasn't the material. Last year I had a bikini made um, on Instagram, from Instagram. And it was purple crop, it was so cute. High waisted and um, lilac. And that went white at the crotch as well. Now, a couple of one or two things. Wet Republic keeps that pool very clean, puts lots of colour in it, which I think it is. Or something going on with me, but you know, it only happens at Wet Republic. It doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. Um, but yeah, so, and then the girl blocked me on Instagram because I'd have a message just saying like, you know, what's going on with this material, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, all our material's fine. Um, which I just thought was weird. I thought I just lost its colour. But obviously, because it's happened again this year. Must be Wet Republic, so if you go to Wet Republic, don't sit in the water, no matter how hard it is, unless you're wearing black, or maybe white, maybe not white, because maybe white will go see-through. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, next thing is, I bought this crop top. It's 
needs to go in the wash, it's full of pig and cat hair. Just a little crop top like this, a little race, so it's very similar to the one I've got. And now, but in black, I think that was like three quid. I also bought some men's black Primark trackies in a size medium. They were cheap, like six pounds. Um, I've left them in England for winter because I don't really need them in Dubai. But I wore them with the crop top um, and this really nice, chunky, oversized knit cardigan that I can't find for the life of me in this house. God knows where it is. Um, and that was £12 and I wore that to the airport. Um, super cool, like monochromatic look. Looked nice. Okay. Active wear. Active wear. First thing. Crop top. Um, £4. Extra small. Grey. Just a plain crop top. It's got, oh it's got boobs in it. Woohoo! Um, get excited then. Racer back style. Nice. And then I bought these leggings. I'm so good it didn't have the crop top to match in my size. They had like an extra, extra small I think but it, and I've got no beads, but you know, I've got a bit of shoulder. These ones are beautiful. These are ankle length. They're a great legging and they just fade out to this beautiful mint green. Um, I could do this with them, I suppose, you know, for matching sets and whatever. Um, they were free, eight pounds with every penny. I tried them on in the shop because I'm funny about leggings and they just feel super nice. And then I also picked up these little workout shorts, tight fit shorts. Again, what's it say? Four way stretch, pocket, quick dry people. Oh, pockets! Oh, that's not got a pocket. They're high waisted, those ones. Four pounds. And they're just tiny little shorts. They've got a little pocket. Nice to the gym. But also, I've bought loads of oversized t shirts. Um, and I wear cycling shorts with them. If I wanted to go really short, I could go really short with them. And then the last pair I bought were. Long ones, long ones, ankle length leggings, ankle length high waist, like with fabric, £10, black. We've got some crisscrossy, crisscrossity, pockety, crissy, crossy detailing. Um, fit really nice, tried them on. They've got like a bit of detailing going on in the back of the legs, so they're just not, you know, too boring. £10, tried them on, size extra small, 6 to 8. Like I said, I'm pretty much standing in 8. Um, I'm pretty tall, but pretty small. Okay, um, every time I got a Primark, I pick up one of these. I went for a new colour. I went for £2, top, 3-in-1, pencil, really nice. Like the thick Anastasia ones. Um, I feel like they all might be the same colour. I've got brown, which is too warm. I've got tobacco, which is a little dark. And I've got this, which I thought would be lighter, and it is a bit. It's not red. It's not got a red under the tone. But yeah, you know, too bad. What are you going to complain for for too bad? Okay, this needs ironing. But that's not going to happen until I wear it. I bought loads of t-shirts in the men's section. This is Prince Purple Rain. Oversized t-shirt. It was £8. I got it in a 2XL, which I think is the biggest size they do. It's like a huge dress. Great recycling shorts. Boom. I also then got just plain Primark t-shirts, um, £2, can't go wrong with them. Extra large men's, again, oversized tee, uh, shorts, I've got some different colour cycling shorts as well. I got 2XL in the pink, again, I think this was £2, should have been. Um, I wanted the lilac one, but they didn't have it, so just pink, £2. Nice and long. They are really big in the body, but you can belt them, you can leave them go, leave them free. Um, I got the same in black, which is in the wash, sorry. That was in a 2XL, or an XL, and the grey, 2XL. Two pounds. Um, I also bought, and this is in the men's section. They had similar in the girls, but I've just dropped it on the floor. What a legend. Um, this is an, is an extra large. It was, losing my eyes, eight pounds. And it's an Ariana Grande sweetener album, full studio album, extra large, oversized, really cute, cycling shorts, tucked into jeans, trackies, whatever, loose, flowing, um, and love that, we love a bit of Ariana in this life, 
So, final two things I picked up in Primark were a bum bag. Ooh, a cloth one. Now, I have got one from Primark that's like leathery and it's harder. This one's great because it flats down super. Oh, and a scrunchie. I didn't buy that from there. Um, I think it was like six pounds. The only reason I bought this was because I left my other one here in Dubai. And the problem is I can't seem to make it any tighter. So I need to work on that. Um, and also I picked up this. It's the cutest bag ever. Um, oh, everything. Got a strap, adjustable size strap. It's got this like lovely hard detail. You can take the strap off as well. Little pocket inside. I think it was about seven or eight pounds. Absolutely love that. Fantastic. Um, I also picked up the usual five pairs of trainer socks for £2.50 or whatever it is and loads of pants because everybody needs knickers in their lives. Um, three for a fiver and I did like the Brazilian shaped ones. Colours were really cool and them like neon pink, sky blue and white in one pack and then the other pack um, black, white and leopard print and they've got this like cool lace detail on the back and like a cross. Super duper fancy. So yeah. That's it for my Primark haul. Hope you enjoyed that today. If you've got any questions, please, please, please either hit me up on Instagram at what Joey likes or comment down below. Please remember to like and subscribe to the video. And I will put my Vegas vlog out there, although it is absolutely rubbish because I didn't film much. Um, I was too busy having fun. Sorry about that. And I'll be back at you with another video with all my bits and bobs and other stuff that I bought in England. Peace out.